Let God's promises shine on your problems. Corey Ten Boom I will give them a heart to know me, that I am the Lord. They will be my people, and I will be their God, for they will return to me with all their heart. Jeremiah 24, 7 Keep this book of the law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua 1, 8 and 9 For no matter how many promises God has made, they are yes in Christ. And so through Him, the Amen is spoken by us to the glory of God. 2 Corinthians 1.20 Through these He has given us His very great and precious promises, so that through them you may participate in the divine nature, having escaped the corruption in the world caused by evil desires. 2 Peter 1.4 But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of Him who called you out of darkness into His wonderful light. 1 Peter 2.9 Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come, the old has gone, the new is here. 2 Corinthians 5.17 Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. Philippians 1, 6 Do not let your heart envy sinners, but always be zealous for the fear of the Lord. There is surely a future hope for you, and your hope will not be cut off. Proverbs 23, 17 and 18 With your help, I can advance against a troop. With my God, I can scale a wall. Psalms 18, 29 It is God who arms me with strength and keeps my way secure. He makes my feet like the feet of a deer. He causes me to stand on the heights. Psalm 18, 32 and 33 For I am convinced that neither death nor life Neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 8, 38 and 39 Deliverance For He has rescued us from the domain of darkness, and brought us into the kingdom of the Son He loves. Colossians 1, 13 Submit yourselves then to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. James 4, 7 The Lord is good, a refuge in times of trouble. He cares for those who trust in Him. Nahum 1, 7 The Lord is a refuge for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. Those who know your name trust in you, for you, Lord, have never forsaken those who seek you. Psalms 9, 9 and 10 I sought the Lord, and He answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. Psalms 34, 4 Faith I have been crucified with Christ And I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I now live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Galatians 2.20 For no word from God will ever fail. Luke 1.37 Jesus replied, Because you have so little faith, Truly I tell you, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, Move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. Matthew 17, 20 
healing. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. 1 John 1, 9 If my people, who are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, and I will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Now my eyes will be open and my ears attentive to the prayers offered in this place. 2 Chronicles 7, 14 and 15 But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. Isaiah 53, 5 Then your light will break forth like the dawn, and your healing will quickly appear. Then your righteousness will go before you, and the glory of the Lord will be your rear guard. Then you will call, and the Lord will answer. You will cry for help, and he will say, Here am I. If you do away with the yoke of oppression, with the pointing finger, and malicious talk. Isaiah 58, 89 Therefore confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. James 5, 16 He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Psalms 147, 3 Life Blessed is the one who perseveres under trials, because having stood the test, that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. James 1, 12 The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. John 10, 10 Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live even though they die. John 11:25. You make known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. Psalm 16:11. For the Lamb at the center of the throne will be their shepherd. He will lead them to springs of living water, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Revelation 7, 17 Love The Lord appeared to us in the past, saying, I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have drawn you with unfailing kindness. Jeremiah 31 3. I love those who love me, and those who seek me bind me. Proverbs 8, 17. But from everlasting to everlasting, the Lord's love is with those who fear him, and his righteousness with their children's children. Psalm 103, 17. I will be glad and rejoice in your love, for you saw my affliction and knew the anguish of my soul. Psalms 31, 7 When I said, My foot is slipping, your unfailing love, Lord, supported me. When anxiety was great within me, your consolation brought me joy. Psalms 94, 18 and 19 Peace You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. Isaiah 26, 3 Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. John 14, 27 I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. 
John 16, 33. Because of the tender mercy of our God, by which the rising sun will come to us from heaven to shine on those living in darkness and in the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the path of peace. Luke 1, 78-79 Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4, 6 and 7 In peace I will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. Psalms 4, 8 Power For the Spirit God gave us does not make us timid, but gives us power, love, and self-discipline. 2 Timothy 1, 7 But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, and in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. Acts 1, 8 Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us. Ephesians 3, 20 Ah, Lord God, you have made the heavens and the earth by your great power and outstretched arm. Nothing is too hard for you. Jeremiah 32, 17 Prayer This is the confidence we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have what we ask of him. 1 John 5, 14 and 15 For thus says the one who is high and lifted up, who inhabits eternity, whose name is holy, I dwell in the high and holy place, and also with him who is of a contrite and lowly spirit, to revive the spirit of the lowly, and to revive the heart of the contrite. Isaiah 57, 15 And I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. You may ask me for anything in my name, and I will do it. John 14, 13 and 14 Protection When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. Isaiah 43, 2 The name of the Lord is a fortified tower. The righteous run to it and are safe. Proverbs 18, 10 The salvation of the righteous comes from the Lord. He is their stronghold in times of trouble. The Lord helps them and delivers them. He delivers them from the wicked and saves them because they take refuge in Him. Psalm 37, 39, and 40 Call on me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you, and you will honor me. Psalm 50, 15 Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Psalms 23, 4 The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Psalm 27, 1 For in the day of trouble he will keep me safe in his dwelling. He will hide me in the shelter of his sacred tent and set me high upon a rock. Psalms 27, 5 How abundant are the good things that you have stored up for those who fear you, that you bestow in the sight of all on those who take refuge in you. Psalms 31, 19 You are my hiding place. You will protect me from trouble and surround me with songs of deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. 
I will counsel you with my loving eye on you. Psalms 32, 78 The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles. Psalms 34, 17 The salvation of the righteous comes from the Lord. He is their stronghold in time of trouble. The Lord helps them and delivers them. He delivers them from the wicked and saves them because they take refuge in Him. Psalms 37, 39, and 40 God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. Psalms 46, 13 Call on me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you, and you will honor me. Psalms 50, 15 For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord bestows favor and honor. No good thing does he withhold from those whose walk is blameless. Psalms 84, 11 Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. Psalms 91, 1 Provision For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Jeremiah 29, 11 And my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of His glory in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4, 19 Ask me, and I will make the nations your inheritance, the ends of the earth your possession. Psalms 2, 8 When hard-pressed, I cried to the Lord. He brought me into a spacious place. Psalms 118, 5 I was young, and now I am old, yet I have never seen the righteous forsaken or their children begging bread. Psalms 37, 25 Take delight in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. Psalms 37, 4 Cast your cares on the Lord, and He will sustain you. He will never let the righteous be shaken. Psalms 55, 22 Righteousness God made him who had no sin to be sin for us, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. 2 Corinthians 5, 21 Then all your people will be righteous, and they will possess the land forever. They are the shoot I have planted, the work of my hands for the display of my splendor. Isaiah 60, 21 But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Matthew 6, 33 Salvation For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. John 3, 16 Very truly I tell you, Whoever hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life and will not be judged, but has crossed over from death to life. John 5, 24 If you declare with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Romans 10, 9 Spirit Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. And we all, who with unveiled faces contemplate the Lord's glory, are being transformed into His image with ever-increasing glory, which comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit. 2 Corinthians 3, 17 and 18 I will give them an undivided heart and put a new spirit in them, I will remove from them their heart of stone and give them a heart of flesh. 
Then they will follow my decrees and be careful to keep my laws. They will be my people, and I will be their God. Ezekiel 11, 19 and 20 Because you are his sons, God sent the Spirit of his Son into our hearts, the Spirit who calls out, Abba, Father, Galatians 4, 6. And afterward, I will pour out my Spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your old men will dream dreams. Your young men will see visions. Even on my servants, both men and women, I will pour out my Spirit in those days. Joel 2, 28 and 29. If you then, though you are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, How much more will your Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask Him? Luke 11, 13 May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in Him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Romans 15, 13 Strength No temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, He will also provide a way out so that you can endure it. 1 Corinthians 10, 13 Those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Isaiah 40, 31. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Isaiah 41, 10. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Matthew 11, 28 through 30. I can do all this through him who gives me strength. Philippians 4, 13. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. Psalms 27, 14 The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in Him, and He helps me. My heart leaps for joy, and with my song I praise Him. Psalms 28, 7 Trust Cast all your anxiety on Him, because He cares for you. 1 Peter 5, 7 But blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in Him. They will be like a tree planted by the water that sends out its roots by the stream. It does not fear when heat comes. Its leaves are always green. It has no worries in a year of drought and never fails to bear fruit. Jeremiah seventeen seventy eight. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed, for His compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Lamentations 3, 22 and 23. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your path straight. Proverbs 3, 5 and 6 Weakness But God has chosen the foolish things of the world to put to shame the wise, and God has chosen the weak things of the world to put to shame the things which are mighty, and the base things of the world, and the things which are despised, God has chosen, and the things which are not, 
to bring to nothing the things that are, that no flesh should glory in his presence. 1 Corinthians 1, 27-29 But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. 2 Corinthians 12, 9 In the same way the Spirit helps us in our weakness. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit Himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. And He who searches our hearts knows the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for God's people in accordance with the will of God. And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. Romans 8, 26-28